PCB Way is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now, if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCB Way is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the all new Foxier Cat 2 mini camera. Now, we've recently tested the micro and I just received the mini. So we're going to put them head to head and see if there's any differences. Now, these cameras are stating quite a lot. They're saying they have some of the best low light sensitivity and image. So basically, you'll be able to fly on those summer nights and also very low latency, which is very unique, especially when the camera is saying that it's going to have really great low light performance. So and again, we're going to test the mini against the micro. Now, the, the only thing that's slightly different is obviously the sizing. And also the mini is slightly longer than the micro. So the mini is the one on the left and the micro is the one on the right here. So it's slightly longer here. But lens size, everything is about identical. And I think also the sensor is just the housing is uh, adding to that extra size. I don't know about the internals. And uh, I guess we'll get to see if there's any difference in the latency testing. So they also, again, if you didn't know that, they do provide you with quite a lot. You get the OSD remote. So again, something slightly different with the mini here. So let's move the micro away. So with the accessories that the mini provide you, they give you quite a bit more stuff. For example, they give you this right here. They didn't give this with the micro. They also give you an adapter from mini to a full fledged camera. So there was no adapter that was provided along with the uh, micro. So this is something a little bit extra. You also get your screws. And you also get your silicone wire here. So this is going to be really great. And now if you didn't know this, everything is linked down below in the timestamps. And also the products are linked down below. And you can also skip to whatever part of the video you want through the video progress bar, just in case if you didn't know that. So let's go ahead and jump into the testing and see how well these perform. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to the testing results. So let's do a quick recap of this picture right here so you have a better understanding of how this works. So we have two lines here. The oscilloscope's listening in on the LED power line, and I'll explain what that's for in a bit. So we'll say power. And this is zero volts right now. So the LED is basically off here. So this is the LED right here. And this one is the video feed. So this is the video feed from your camera, the yellow line, based, the yellow wire basically from your camera. So we'll say the video feed. And what we do is we monitor both of these lines until the LED turns on. And once the LED turns on right here, we could keep listening in on basically both lines and see wh when the video line actually registered the difference or the change. And we can see that happen right here. So we install these cursors and it gives us the latency, which is 1.96 milliseconds, which is insane, insane. So that's how we test it. This is basically, again, 5 volts here for the LED line. This is where it turned on. Now, what's really crazy about this camera also is between both the micro and the mini, they're basically identical. Usually I never see that. Even if I had a micro and a nano or a nano and another micro or a mini uh, of the same, you know, camera with the same sensor, usually I get difference in latency. But here we're seeing it. They, they kept that thing like spot on under two milliseconds which is really, really great. And don't forget, this thing has even low light, like insane low light performance from what I've seen. So it's, it's just crazy that they're able to do that. I mean, this is faster than some other racing cameras. So you just keep that in mind also. Um, huge shout out to Fox here. That's a really, that's a hell of a job right there. So with the LED turning on, two milliseconds, let's go ahead and move on to the LED turning off. So it was in a bright room and then it goes off. And then usually that does increase in latency. So let's go ahead and take a look at that as well. All right. So now we're taking a look at the LED turning off. So here's the LED again. We're starting off with five volts. So the LED. So the LED is on currently inside the box. And here's the point where it turned off. And here we got again, five, zero volts here. Now, if we take a closer look at the video line, what we see is there's a pivot point right at two milliseconds. Again, like it's, it's really noticeable. You can even see it down here right there at two milliseconds. And what you see going down here is basically, you know, the wide dynamic range or the exposure and everything else, trying to keep as much light into the video feed that you're looking at here until it gets to this point right there. And this is, again, is around this time. It's actually faster than the micro. So it's 6.8 milliseconds. But this usually sometimes fluctuates depending on what the software is doing at the time and the point of where the LED turned off. For example, here, the LED turned off right after one of the uh, uh, synchronization pulses right there. So this is a synchronization pulse. So we're, we're basically what we're looking at is this is just basically half of a frame here. This is not even a full frame. So 
you know, that, that's just crazy. So again, the latency is two milliseconds and we can say two 6.8 milliseconds after the software and exposure and the wide dynamic range kicks in and try to keep as much light in as possible. But again, this is insane. It's way below 10 milliseconds, 15, 25. You know, anything above 25, it gets kind of sketchy. Above 35 is just, is just crap. Under five milliseconds is just the golden zone. I haven't seen a camera that did two millisecond latency in a while. And this is one of them right here. And it's really great, actually. Really, really great. And, um, well, that's it. So it's a good camera, in my opinion. Low light performance, hella low latency. And you just can't go wrong with it. And you have all the options. 16 by 9, 4 by 3. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, NTSC and PAL. So, and it even has on-screen display, which is very useful as well. And with that being said, everything is linked down below. If you could check those out, those greatly support the channel. And also come join my Patreon. I do a ton of giveaways. You get access to my secret shop and you get access to all my hardware schematics, such as the open hardware flight controller, ESC, and some other projects I've done. You can do whatever you want with those. Make your own, sell it. Don't mind. I'd actually be happy that you've done that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.